is now bubble yum keeps it popping it is now 47 after bruce boxleitner has played everything from a frontiersman in the tv movie how the west was won to a computerized warrior in the disney movie tron but most people know him as a scarecrow that's his code name as a cia agent who teams up with kate jackson to thwart criminals and spies in the tv show scarecrow and mrs king for the past few seasons their relationship has been strictly professional but that may change soon we have a scene from the show and i thought you told me that you were just going to throw something together well there was a bake sale to raise some money for jamie's soccer team and i baked a cake and then i uh, baked an extra one yeah there you are homemade and i hope you like it mm. Bruce Buck Sleitner joins us from our ABC studios in Los Angeles. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning, Joan. What's cooking here, Bruce? <laughs> All kinds of mayhem. Yeah. Uh, are we are we to expect a little romance budding here pretty soon? I think you can. That's a safe assumption. Yeah, yeah I think so. It kind of looks la that way. <laughs> yeah, I think um, the fans uh, last year kind of let us know through the fan mail that. Uh, they wanted our relationship to expand a little bit more than it had the last three years. So, uh, and I believe you have to follow what, you know, what they're feeling. And um, Kate Jackson and I both felt that the, the characters had to grow. These are two people that started at a certain place three years ago and we couldn't continue in the same yeah. way, you know. It's just not real. You so. obviously really enjoy the show. It's a real family. I mean, you even named your... Did, did you name your son after your character? I mean, you did, didn't you? Corny Lee, little true. Lee. Yeah, I did. I did. Lee is now nine months old. Yes, nine months old. And Sam is six years old. So, uh, and you were able to incorporate your family life and your work life this last summer, I think it was, when you were doing the second Disney movie, right? It called Down the Long Hills. Down the Long Hills. How were you able to do that? A few members well, of the I, family in that movie? Yes. Uh, my wife, Kitty, who uh, kind of took a hiatus from acting for about five years uh, to have children, uh, returned in this uh, western that I did for the Disney Channel called Down the Long Hills, based on uh, Louis L'Amour's novel. And we combined it as sort of a uh, location and family vacation uh, in Park City, Utah, and around that area. So it was, a, it was a lot of fun. And it was great working with Kitty again. We had done it, uh, we met on a television show uh, for ABC a number of years ago called How the West Was Won. So this was like a second honeymoon? It was. It was <laughs> terrific. Now, except, did, well, didn't little Sam have a part at one point in it? Yeah, he did at one point, but unfortunately the... Uh, as these things go, the schedule had to change, and he wasn't up there yet, and so he didn't get to do it. But I got him a little uh, set of Pioneer Boy wardrobe, and he ran around <laughs> the set in that, so he was perfectly content in that. So. I am <clears throat> told that, that he's been bitten by the bug, and he would like to follow in Daddy's footsteps. Are you seeing that yet? Yeah. <laughs> you are? Yeah. I'll tell you, he's a, he's a movie nut, and he's watched uh, just about everything I have on tape that I've been in. But... Uh, no, he loves, uh, you know, like he's watched, uh, I think, uh, Back to the Future about 50 times. <laughs> he loves Michael J. Fox right now. Are, are you comfortable knows... with that prospect of him wanting to, to be an actor? Yeah, I think yeah. I am. Um, I mean, what am I going to do, Joan? Tell him that, uh, no, you can't be an actor. I mean, if someone would have told me that uh, in my early teen years, I would have, uh, well. <laughs> That's the ultimate compliment, though, for your son to want to follow in your footsteps and be like oh, Dad. Sure. I love it. I love it. You know, you and you and Kitty really have something that might be considered unusual in Hollywood. You have a stable marriage. <laughs> what is yes. your secret to success? I don't know if there's any one thing. I uh, it has amazed us a number of times. Um, it's been nine years now, and uh, it hasn't always been easy. I think it's just uh, like every everyone. You take it a day at a time, and you try to work together and. Um, I know she's certainly been a, a big help for me in, in my career. She's been my, you know, number one fan and booster, and she's helped with a lot of decisions that had to be made. And I think it's just teamwork. You know, so. here she's boosting your career, and it's, but there's a, almost a contradictory between you're the hunk 
over here to on your uh, on the professional side and yet you're the real strong family man on the personal side i know it is kind of schizophrenic <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good schizophrenic it's yes, nice it seeing is. you thank you joe it's good to see you again uh, and we'll be back in just a moment john stossel sinks his teeth into sugarless gum right <laughs>